a quasi-static process involving an ideal gas. An ideal diatomic gas at an absolute temperature T has an internal energy per mole equal to 5 over 2 RT. A mole of this gas is taken quasi-statically first from the macrostate A to the macrostate B and then from macrostate B to the macrostate T along the straight line paths of the uh, figure. Um, what is the molar heat capacity at constant volume of this gas? What is the work done? What is the heat absorbed? And what is the change in the entropy of this gas? Okay, so um, we're going to start out with the uh, internal energy of a diatomic gas. For a new moles of the gas, we have 5 over 2 nu RT. A uh, nu is number of moles. And this is actually uh, coming from um, 3 over 2 nkt and plus uh, nkt uh, due to rotational degrees of freedom. So this is uh, translations of the center of mass plus uh, rotations with respect to center of mass. And that's basically uh, coming from the equipartition th theorem uh, by the equipartition theorem. If we write the energy per molecule epsilon, we would have 1 over 2 uh, mass of one molecule Vx squared plus Vy squared plus Vz squared, translations of the center of mass. And then we would have 1 over 2 uh, Ix omega squared uh, plus 1 over 2 Iy omega squared uh, rotations about um, the center of mass. So one of the uh, moment of inertia has no contribution because it's going to coincide with uh, one of the axes, right? So uh, I remind you that moment of inertia is integral r squared dm and uh, z is the axis on which the molecules reside. So according to equipartition theorem, uh, we get 3 times 1 over 2 kbt, kt, plus uh, 2 times kt for each uh, quadratic term here. And this gives us 5 over 2 kt per molecule. So this is how we obtain uh, the total internal energy to be 5 over 2 nu RT. And this is assuming uh, vibrational uh, modes are not yet excited at this temperature. Because if we have vibrational modes, we would have to take them into account as well. Okay, so this is basically what is given here. And the molar heat capacity at constant volume, Cv, is 1 over nu del E bar del T at constant volume. And this will be equal to 1 over nu del del T of 5 over 2 nu RT. And the nu's will uh, cancel. And we will have, for the molar specific heat, 5 over 2 R. So this is the case when we have a diatomic ideal gas, no vibrations. So that is the molar specific heat or molar heat capacity. Now what is the work done by the gas in the process uh, a, B, C. So we have to read carefully. It says by the gas, not on the gas. So uh, we're going to calculate uh, the work done by the gas. So work done by the gas. How do we calculate the work done by the gas? It is integral P bar dV. Work done 
on the gas is minus integral p bar dv so we have to remember this and so this is going to be basically area under p bar v curve so that's what i have to calculate work done by the gas from a to b to c i have to calculate uh, the following areas the area under uh, a b c curve so let me see i have first here a rectangle so i can consider this uh, rectangular area then i'm going to have a triangle here so there is this triangle that i have to consider uh, then i have another triangle uh, here so this is another triangular area then i have another uh, so this is the triangle i have to consider then i have another uh, rectangle here that is this area so i have to calculate these areas and add them up to get the work done by the gas so the red one you can see it, it's one by uh, six so it's going to be the first one will be one times six the second one the uh, the blue one is the right triangle which is one uh, one by two so it is one times two uh, divided by two that is the area of the triangle plus uh, the area of this triangle that is one by four so from four to eight so one times four uh, divided by two and then I have another uh, rectangle here that is one by four so that's going to be one times four so I will have six plus one plus uh, two plus four so that gives me uh, eight twelve thirteen thirteen and then I check the unit here this is uh, going to be dynes per centimeter square multiplied by centimeter cube the energy unit in CGS is ergs so that gives me uh, thirteen times uh, 13 times 13 uh, I'm multiplying 10 to 6 dynes per centimeter uh, square with 10 to 3 uh, centimeter cube so I will get uh, 10 to 9 dynes centimeter so I will have uh, 10 to 9 uh, dynes dyne centimeter and what is a dyne centimeter that is an arc so i will see that this is 13 times 10 to 9 arcs and how many joules would that be uh, so w a to b to c one joule is uh, 10 to 7 arcs so this would be uh, 1300 joules okay so uh, let's move on to part C in part C I have to calculate the heat absorbed by the gas in this process well so if I write the first law of thermodynamics delta E bar is equal to uh, the heat absorbed by the gas plus work done on the gas and that is equal to 5 over 2 R delta T for one mole of the gas so I have from A to C uh, the the change in the internal energy from A to C is or A to B to C is 5 over 2 R T C minus T A uh, and uh, if I subtract from this the work done on the gas I get Q 
and minus the work done on the gas is work done by the gas so q is equal to 5 over 2 r tc minus ta plus work done by the gas okay so since i have an ideal gas uh, one mole i have pc vc is equal to r tc and pa va is equal to r ta so basically the heat absorbed by the gas is 5 over 2 r uh, well for rtc i will substitute a pcvc 5 over 2 pcvc and for rta i will substitute pava plus work done by the gas so here i have uh, 5 over 2 what is the pressure at point c it is 4 uh, 10 to 6 times per centimeter square and 3 times 10 to 3 centimeter cube so it is 4 times 3 minus the pressure at a a is 6 and the volume is 1 6 times 1 plus work done uh, by the gas so this will be equal to uh, 12 minus 6 6 uh, uh, divided by 2 is 3 so it's going to be 15 uh, and then I have 13 times 10 to 9 ergs so 15 plus 13 uh, 10 to 9 ergs so this will be equal to um, 28 so Q will be equal to 28 10 to 9 ergs or Q will be equal to 2800 joules. <clears throat> what is the entropy change in this process? So in part D, the entropy change uh, for a quasi-static process is d bar q over t which is d e bar minus d bar w work done on the gas divided by uh, the temperature t and uh, d e bar is uh, nu cv dt so this divided by t and then i have minus the work done on the gas is plus p bar dv divided by uh, the temperature T. So this will be equal to new CV DT divided by T plus a new RT over V um, DV divided by T. So I substitute ideal gas law here. And here I have a V not new here. Okay, so the entropy change from uh, A to C will be the following integral, nu CV dt over uh, T plus nu R dV over uh, V. And here nu is equal to 1 and CV is equal to 5 over 2 R. So this will be equal to uh, uh, integral from A to C, 5 over 2 R dt over t plus uh, r dv over v so this will be equal to 5 over 2 r natural logarithm tc over ta plus r natural logarithm vc over va and that will be equal to 5 over 2 r natural logarithm pc vc divided by PAVA uh, because I have PV equals new RT and new and R's cancel and I have here R if I check the volume at C it's 3 volume at A is 1 so it is the ratio is uh, 3 over 1 so uh, PCVC product is uh, 4 times 3 12 PAV product is 6 times 1, it is um, 6, so this becomes 5 over 2R natural logarithm 12 over 6 
plus r natural logarithm 3 so I find that the entropy change from a to c is 5 over 2 r natural logarithm 2 plus r natural logarithm 3 or I can say in r parentheses this is natural logarithm 3 plus 5 over 2 natural logarithm 2 this will be the entropy change okay so uh, we're calculating a, a, an ideal diatomic gas subject to a quasi-static process uh, the molar heat capacity work done by the gas heat absorbed by the gas and entropy change the uh, internal energy of a diatomic ideal diatomic gas at a typical temperature where the vibrational modes are not excited will be given by 5 over 2 nu rt therefore the molar heat capacity is 5 over 2 r the work done on the gas is minus integral pdv by the gas is integral pdv so it's the area under this curve so i calculate the area under the curve i have two rectangles and two triangles so i add them up uh, and then convert from cgs to si so i have 1300 joules as the work done by the gas and then uh, in order to calculate the heat absorbed i use the first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics and i write the internal energy change 5 over 2 r tc minus ta minus the work done on the gas is q minus work done on the gas is work done by the gas and for TC, RTC, and RTA, I can substitute PCVC and PAVA so, because I have one mole. So I can calculate the heat absorbed. For the entropy change, I use D bar Q over T, fundamental uh, relation in thermodynamics, fundamental relation. And basically, this gives me for DE bar nu CV dt over T. For the work done by the gas, P bar dV over uh, T, and for P, uh, P bar, I can substitute nu RT over V for nu moles of gas, and I substitute nu equals 1, C is equal to CV is equal to 5 over 2R, and perform the integral to obtain the entropy change.